I did a spot vacuum. She vacuumed this room. She didn't move any other stuff off the floor. She vacuumed this room. This room. <laughs> What's going on, heroes? Welcome back to the vlog. I want to show you guys something, okay? I want to show you guys something. Check this out. You see these right here? This is a twin inflatable bed, and this is a queen size inflatable bed. The reason I'm showing you guys this is because when Vivian and I first moved in together, we ended up buying a bed mattress similar to this one, but a lot smaller, and Emma had her own crib. Evan had his own little bed. Somewhere along the way, okay? Somewhere along the way, our house got infected with bed bugs, okay? The entire house. We had to throw all the dressers, the counters, the beds, the cribs, chairs, everything. Everything. We ended up sleeping on this inflatable mattress right here. And then Emma would sleep on this one right here. Whenever we had Evan, then Evan would sleep on the twin size one. And then Emma would sleep with Vivian and I on the queen size one. The reason that I keep this here is as a reminder, okay? As a reminder, because we came from sleeping on inflatable mattresses with all our clothes folded into little squares on the floor just to be able to get by. Now, why am I telling you all this, okay? We had nothing at the beginning when we first moved in together. Then we moved somewhere else and we were all jam packed in a room no bigger Okay, probably even smaller than the girls' room. And when we were finally able to actually buy furniture, we ended up buying a metal bunk bed because we were afraid of getting bed bugs again and we knew that they wouldn't survive inside of metal. So we ended up buying uh, a bunk bed that the bottom half was a sofa and then it would turn into a queen size bed and then it had the regular bunk bed on the top where Emma would sleep unless Evan was here, then he would sleep there, okay? Our main problem was we didn't have enough space in that room. We were crammed together. We only had one little dresser on the corner where the where Emma's stuff would fit and then Evan's stuff was in the closet and everything was under the bed, okay? Tiny little room, okay? Again, you're thinking, why is he telling me this? I don't care. Get on with the vlog, okay? I'm telling you this because our now our biggest issue is we have too much stuff. Okay, when we first moved in together, we didn't have anything. We were sleeping on the floor for a while, then we got the inflatables, and then we moved into a tiny little room where we had to all crush together into a metal bunk bed, and now we have too much stuff. Look at this, look at the girl's room. Emma has her own bed with a Ford at the bottom. Clementine has her own bed with a Ford at the bottom. And if you guys look around, they have an excessive amount of clothes. Okay, look at this. Look at all of this. They have two giant Barbie houses, okay? Look at that, another one over there. These boxes, full of toys, full of toys. So, as soon as the girls get home from school, I'm gonna have them get some black bags and I'm gonna have them just stack it up with a bunch of toys that they no longer use because I know they no longer play with a lot of them. Even though, okay, even though they just got these, they don't, they don't even really play with them anymore. But before I do anything, absolutely anything, I need to sit down and eat, and I need to edit yesterday's vlog to be able to post. And then once that's done, then I'll get started with the room. I have absolutely no idea where Vivian took off with the girls, but this room still needs to be cleaned, so I'm gonna start it off. Um, when If they get here before I'm done, then they most definitely have to take over because this is a huge mess. The good thing about them not being here while I'm cleaning is that I can get rid of a lot of stuff without having to hear them complain, say, no, that's my favorite toy. No, I still use that because it's a lie. They really don't. Finally, you're here. Now that you're here, you can start helping and cleaning. We're gonna move this over there where there's space, this is gonna go into the living room, and then all this mess needs to be picked up. Just got here. I will school. Good. You have fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Did you do a lot of work? Mm -hmm. Did you learn a lot of stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Did, did you have a great day? Yes. Nice, nice. Well, the girls need to clean this room. Have you looked at it? Come yeah, here, I vacuumed it. it this morning. Did you vacuum this room this morning? I didn't move their stuff, but I vacuumed. Did you guys just hear that? I did a spot vacuum. She vacuumed this room. She didn't move any other stuff off the floor. She vacuumed this room. This room. She vacuumed Actually, this room. So Look at this. She vacuumed. <laughs> she. <laughs> she vacuumed this room. She. Do you guys see what I have to deal with? T time. You have fun in school today? Yeah. What you got there? Chicken nuggets? Nice, you gotta hurry up and eat cause you need to come help me clean your room, okay? Emma has been getting calls, sweet little calls, from some boy in her class. Emma, what's the boy's name they'd be calling it's you? It's just Julian. It's just Julian. It's just Julian. Your boy's calling you already, Emma? 
Little boys calling you? Here. Get all this clothes from here and take it to the dirty hamper. Ow! Here. <laughs> here. <laughs> I can't move. You can hold more. <laughs> no. Mm. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> no, I don't. After about 45 minutes to an hour, it is completely clean. Well, about 99% clean. The entire bottom of the bed is clean. You guys see, I even put the lights right there so that she can actually see what she's playing. I move this over here because it fits perfectly and it allows the door to actually close. This entire bag right here is nothing but toys and trash. It's like 90% toys, the rest of it is trash. And those toys are good, but we're gonna throw them away because they're all dirty and nasty, even though they still work. Emma just needs to finalize her bed. She just needs to fold this little blanket, hang her pajamas, and then her, she needs to sit down and do her homework. I don't have any homework. homework. And then tea time needs to get her backpack. Go take it to mommy so she can help you with your homework. And then you're done. Go. These little bubble gums here are going to be for a challenge. We're going to blindfold each other and then we're going to pick one out to see if we can actually taste the flavor and identify the color by the flavor. If we can, then we can spit the gum out. If we can't, we have to keep the gum in our mouth and then keep going until we get it right or quit. If I pick this red one with the blindfold on and I can identify this a red, then I can eat it or if I, I can just throw it out. But if I pick up this pink one and I say that it's a green one, then I have to keep this in my mouth and then I have to keep going until I identify the right color. So then I'll pick up an orange, but if I say blue, then I have to keep both of those in my mouth, keep chewing and then keep going until I, I get it right. At that point, I'll be able to spit it out or if I have too many in my mouth at the same time, I can just quit and there you go. But anyways, that's beside the point. So now that the room is clean, I just need a vacuum or actually Emma needs to vacuum because it is her room or have Vivian vacuum because she already vacuumed earlier today. Right, you guys, I'm just gonna wrap this vlog up because there's not much that's gonna happen. The room is already clean, the girls are doing their homework, then they're gonna jump in the shower, you know how this goes. So I'm just gonna end the vlog here because nothing's gonna happen. Thank you guys for watching, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.